For a century, the Bulletin has faithfully chronicled Jefferson's medical progress, as well as student, faculty, and alumni achievements. We've collected some of Jefferson's shining achievements from the Bulletin's centennial edition to challenge you. How much do you know about the long and storied history of Jefferson? Let's find out and maybe learn a little along the way. In the 1920s, an article focused on a painting by a famous American artist which depicts a scene familiar to Jefferson students and alumni. The painting displays a prominent presence as he pauses a moment from an operation to explain to the class the details of the procedure. Who was this distinguished person? And what is the name of the painting? Samuel D. Gross, Chair of Surgery, and the painting, The Gross Clinic. The 1930s, this decade's first bulletin issue announced that a dream has been realized. A new building replaced the old 1898 college building and adjoined it with the new college. In May 1938 issue recalled the old college's dark, dingy, unkempt lecture halls and antiquated medical equipment. The new construction was the beginning of a greater Jefferson. Named for benefactor Cyrus H.K. Curtis, what was the name of this new building? The answer, the Curtis Clinic. 1940s. Beginning in 1940, in response to what was coming in World War II, what was the name of the field hospital where Jefferson nurses and doctors provided medical treatment to those injured on the battlefield? The answer, the 38th General Hospital of the Red Cross. The 1950s. On May 6, 1953, at Jefferson Medical College Hospital, Dr. John Hesham Gibbon, Jr., his staff, and with the help of this significant medical machine, closed a severe septal defect between the upper chambers of the heart of 18-year-old Cecilia Bavilek. This was the first successful machine-assisted intercardiac surgery performed on a human patient. What was this machine called? The answer, the heart-lung machine. 1960s was a time of radical social change, a time in which Jefferson was not exempt. A decision made by the Jefferson administration in 1961 that caused pandemonium, quote, according to a 1965 issue of the Bulletin occurred. What was this decision? The answer, women were finally permitted to attend Jefferson Medical College. In the graduating class of 157, eight women were the first to hold medical degrees in 1965. The 1970s decade was a month of birthdays. In 1976, the city of Philadelphia commemorated the U.S. Bicentennial. In 1974, Jefferson Medical College celebrated its sesquicentennial. The Alumni Association also celebrated its own anniversary. And here's a hint. The Alumni Association was founded in 1870. What was that celebration? Centennial. In the 1980s, the Thompson Annex's ground floor elevator is an unlikely spot for an archeological find. Yet in 1989, it hosted such an event. A niche there yielded a full-length, slightly undersized 40-inch statue of a marble Greek goddess. The torso was created in the early Homan Imperial period, and the head and arms were later added to the damaged work. Who was this Greek goddess? The goddess Athena. In 1986, Robert C. Gallo MD 1963, was one of six winners of the Albert Lasker Medical Award for his identification of the virus that caused what infection? Answer, HIV AIDS. 
The 1990s, in this decade, Jefferson received the largest individual grant, $10 million in its history, to promote cancer research in the region. In honor of the benefactor's gift, the university named its world-renowned cancer center and cancer research institute after him. What is the name of the philanthropist and the center named after him? The answer, Sidney J. Kimmel and the Sidney Kimmel Cancer Center. In the 2000s, this philanthropist had a 40-year relationship with Jefferson before her $25 million gift that established a building dedicated to creating an environment for team teaching. From 1969 to 1972, she was the president of Jefferson's Woman Board and the first woman to be named to the Board of Trustees. Who was this famous philanthropist? The answer is Dorrance H. Hamilton and the Dorrance H. Hamilton Building. Thank you, Dodo. 2010s. With a nod to his hometown, as well as his faith in Jefferson's ability to revolutionize healthcare nationwide, philanthropist Sidney Kimmel and his wife Caroline, through the Sidney Kimmel Foundation, gave Jefferson its largest gift ever. How much was the gift? $110 million.